Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I am bringing you the Easter egg and trophy guide for the Shadow Throne within World War II Nazi Zombies. This is going to be a tutorial on how to complete the Easter egg as well as get all 10 trophies within the Shadow Throne. If you have any questions, the comment section is where you guys should ask them and I will respond to them as soon as possible. And if you want to skip to a certain part of the Easter egg or a certain trophy, check the description. There's going to be lots of time steps down there. And in the description, there will also be steps for the Morse code and the website for the statue step just before you get the blade. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first trophy is Ballistics Be Damned. To achieve this, in the Shadow Throne, reach wave 15 using only melee weapons. This is really easy to do, just grab the melee perk, and I highly recommend the ice pick from the museum. You can use any other melee weapon, but I recommend the ice pick because it swipes and kills the fastest. To obtain not a prayer in the Shadow Throne, after round 20, survive at least two full rounds without anyone leaving the church. This is a really fun trophy to complete. I recommend getting pack-a-punched LMGs, monkeys, and shell shock with sustain zone. If you do have consumables, including insta-kills and max ammos, I do recommend putting those on. All you have to do is after round 20 ends, so from round 21 on, you and your team, or if you're playing solo, just has to stay in the church for two full rounds. Now what we're going to focus on is getting the blunderbuss and calling the Russians, as well as signaling the flares. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the radio and look at the numbers and the letters on top of it. Then go all the way to the church and there will be a map with a marker on it. Look at where the marker is and then to the left of the map there is going to be a chart with the named place. Look at the letters and numbers that it gave you and check that frequency off. Once you've contacted the Russians, head behind the wall of where the radio is, knife this box and a bunch of flares will shoot up. This will summon the Nazi blimp. Now we are going to get the battery parts. So the first battery is to the right of the melee perk. The second location for the battery is to the left of the armor machine in the museum. And the third and final location is to the right of the Thompson wall by in the theater. Then once you have the battery, wait for the blimp to create a fire zombie and knife it. You will pull out this little harpoon thing. Once you have the battery and the harpoon, head to the spawn and there will be this room right here that is closed. Put the battery in and then take the battery out. You will be locked in. All you have to do to get out of the room is place both parts in the wonder bus and charge the door to leave. The next trophy we are looking at is putting on a show. In the Shadow Throne, keep a Grekot alive on the stage for one minute. For those of you that don't know, the Grekot is the flame zombie. To do this, I recommend putting on Shell Shock with Sustain Zone. When the Grekot enters the stage and he's on stage, freeze him in place with Shell Shock for the full 60 seconds. If you have two double meters, so if your meter bar is red, you will easily get this challenge before the meter runs out. To obtain the Equal Opportunity Destroyer trophy, you have to obtain the Geist Craft from every single zombie type in a single match. Now I messed up and I did not record the gameplay for this because I did not know how to achieve this trophy. However, if you use the left trigger shot or the harpoon of the Wonder Bus to charge it, that is how you collect the Geist Craft from every zombie type. However, you do have to kill the zombie, so you have to kill all five zombie types which include the Whistling, Bomber, Grekot, pest and normal zombie. To get this trophy I recommend training around the huge courtyard area where the radio is and just constantly keep spamming your left trigger shot or the harpoon until you get this trophy. To get the trophy Das It's Good, find the Uber Sprengen within the Shadow Throne. This is basically just getting pack a punch. There's going to be a panel to the right of spawn. There's going to be like a little sewer hallway. Throw any explosive, blow open that panel, grab your Wonder Bus and use your right trigger to shoot it. And then go left up this little hill thing beside the elevator and just blow off this little power cap and shoot your right trigger again. And you will unlock pack a punch and achieve this trophy. The next thing we are going to do is get the smuggler's bat. To get this, go to the Wonder Bus room and shoot this cash register. There's going to be a picture with two numbers on the bottom. And put those two numbers correctly into the radio until you contact the smuggler and get this audio cue.
Once you get this audio cue, there's going to be two sewer locations. One of them is in between the theater and church. This location, you have to grab a, one, a random wall weapon from around the map and input it into the sewer. Once you get the right wall weapon, you will arm the smuggler. Once you arm the smuggler, you have to wait three rounds, and then just outside the theater, there is another gas sewer opening. You have to pay 2,000 points to the smuggler, and the smuggler will be paid. Then head down to the Wonder Bus room, and there's going to be a door. Knock on it three times by knifing it, and the door will open. Kill the whistling, and then you will be able to grab the bat on the floor. Now we are going to work on getting the second Wonder Melee weapon, which is the Dancer's Daggers. In the apartment, grab the Dancer's Painting off the wall in the bedroom. Then head over to the theater, and on the second story balcony, there is going to be a film reel right above where the projector is. Shoot down the film reel, it's going to land on a pile of rubble. Pick up that film reel, and then once you have acquired both the film reel and the painting, place it on the projector and then grab the Wonder Bus to power up the projector. It is going to project a map onto the screen. There is going to be a green flashing dot. That is going to be where you're going to get souls. There's four soul boxes you will need to collect. Once you collect all four soul boxes, make sure you keep track of how many zombies you kill at each one because the amount of zombies that you kill at each soul box till it's completed is going to be a number that you are going to need to open a safe. If you mess up or miss a number or miscount, just go back to that soul box and refill it up. Once you have all four numbers, go clockwise three times until you land on the first number. Then go counterclockwise to your second number, clockwise to your third number, and then counterclockwise to your fourth number. Once you get all four numbers put into the safe correctly, think about it as unlocking like a school lock that you would have on your locker. Same exact mechanism. Once you open it up, grab the dancer's dagger. Now we are going to work on the final melee weapon, which is going to be the Nazi Axe. There are six radio frequency locations. One is going to be behind this little closing rack on the box. The second is going to be on this dresser beside the chair. The third is going to be on a pillar in the museum. The fourth is below the M1 Grand location on this little stone plaque. The fifth is on the roof of the apartments in the corner and the sixth location is going to be in the elevator written in blood. Once you have the radio frequency, head to the radio and put it in. You are going to get a bunch of beeping. This is Morse code. There is going to be a sequence of beeps. Those are going to be numbers that you're going to need to get. Long beeps equal lines and short beeps equal dots. There is a list on screen of all possible numbers. Each number will be five beeps total. I recommend using Snapchat and filming this and then putting on the filter that slows the video down if it is too fast for you. Once you get your sequence of numbers, go to the theater. There's going to be a magnifying glass on that little chair and then come to the map and put the magnifying glass on the map. With the corresponding numbers, line up the monocle slash magnifying glass on the exact location. To the right of it, there's going to be a little chest that opens up. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab the bull and then once you grab the bull kill a fire zombie beside a shield potion machine and then go upstairs to the museum and place the golden bull and skull on this table there's going to be a rabbit sculpture slash statue it is a soul box get enough souls and then you will be able to unlock the axe Now there are going to be four anchors attaching the zeppelin to the ground. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the wonder bus and charge your shots so you can fully charge the four anchors. The first anchor is just outside the church where double tap is. The second is in the museum in the roof. And the third is going to be across from Pack-a-Punch sticking through the roof and wall. Once you've charged those three anchors, come to the melee wall and input all three melee weapons. You are going to need to collect zombie souls in this order. First, you need zombie souls, 
Then you need the Gekot souls, and then you need the Pest souls. Once you charge up all three melee weapons with the correct zombies, the secret door will open. Once the secret door is opened, head down into the Barbarossa statue room. There is going to be the fourth anchor on the roof. Once again, just charge this anchor up until it is fully charged, and then you will have completed all four anchors, lowering the capsule to go to boss fight. Now we are on the hardest step of the Easter egg, which is the puzzle room. In the Barbarossa's chamber, there are four walls with stone statues. You have to shoot the statues to turn them. To complete this step, you have to turn all four walls and have the statues facing Barbarossa. Except when you turn one statue, it will turn the nearest neighbor as well. Statues with no hammer will turn a quarter. Statues with a hammer will turn half and statues with wings will turn three quarters. There is a website in the description that you can input which way they're facing to help you shoot them in the correct order without having to try it yourself. I do recommend doing this by yourself without a website first because it's a lot of Once you've correctly solved all four walls, you are going to get four raven statues. Put the raven statues on the Barbarossa statue as shown on screen. The order will be the same for the raven statues every single game and it will not change. So once you memorize it, you will be good for the rest of the Shadow Throne games you play. Now that you know the easter egg steps up to this point, we can focus on ammo conservation. In the Shadow Throne, obtain the blade without firing a gunshot. To get this, you have to get the blade as shown on screen without shooting a bullet. That means when you signal the flares, you have to melee the box, and when you contact the smuggler and open up the gas valves to the sewers, you have to knife those as well. You are only allowed to shoot the wonder bus beam at the anchors to unlock them. Other than that, you cannot shoot a bullet. Now that all melee weapons are built, we can get the next trophy which is Lumberjack. In the Shadow Throne, kill a whistling using each melee weapon in a single match. When I first did this, I thought you had to kill with all 7 melee weapons on the map, but you only have to use the upgraded 3, which includes the Nazi Axe, the Dancer's Dagger, and the Smuggler's Bat, as well as the Blade. Once you kill a whistling using all 4 of these melee weapons, you will obtain this trophy. To get Stat Jaeger down, in the Shadow Throne, defeat the Stat Jaeger. This is beating the boss fight. When you are ready to go to boss fight, go to the pod beside the radio, grab your Wonder Bus, and use your Ray to raise yourself up into the blimp. Once you have boarded the Zeppelin, there are going to be these little panels with circuits on them. Drag the blue slash purple ball across the circuits till you open up all of the blimp. Once this is completed, you will defeat Straub and watch him die. After you have defeated Straub, the boss, the Stotjäger, will drop in. He will have three phases to him till you defeat him. There is two phases where you have to shoot him once he starts glowing orange, and the third and final phase, when he starts doing a sustain zone attack and starts protecting himself, you have to use your wonder bus to use your ray to shoot him. During this boss fight, I recommend bringing the FG42 Pack-a-Punched, the wonder bus, as well as double tap, quick revive, stamina up, and speed cola. I recommend running sustain zone with shell shock, as well as the dagger so you can regain shield if you ever lose it in the boss fight. I also recommend monkeys and doing it with more than one person. If you guys are using consumables, run full meters and max ammos because those are crucial that you have those constantly throughout the boss fight.
Once you've defeated the Stott Jaeger and he is dead, you and your team go back into the pod that you enter the Zeppelin with and it will take you back to the ground. Once you go back to the ground, you will not be able to go back into the Zeppelin at all. So if you want to do high rounds in there, you got to stay up there. Once you come back down to the ground, you will get the cutscene and then right after the cutscene, you will get the Stott Jaeger down trophy. Now that the Easter egg is complete, I recommend doing the last two trophies. The first one is something wonderful. In the Shadow Throne, kill 50 Gekot with the special weapon in one match. The reason I recommend doing this after boss fight is because if you do it before boss fight, you will be going up on round 30 to 40. So to get this trophy, I recommend just training around and waiting for the blimp to create Gekot. So just fly through the rounds and get kills with your wonder boss. The tenth and final trophy is This Belongs in a Museum. In the Shadow Throne, while inside the museum, kill 250 zombies with the blade in a single match. When I first did this trophy, I thought that you could use the force field attack on the blade using L2, but you only can use R2 to get kills, so you have to kill 250 zombies one by one in the museum one at a time. Once you've completed this trophy, you will have 100% completion for all trophies for the DLC 2, The War Machine. I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, time stamps in the description. If you've made it to the end of the video, you've probably gotten all the trophies already. So congratulations on that. As always, I'll see you when I see you. Peace.